Stop saying that it's about the children when it's not. It's just about hate. I will <laughs> come for you. We good? Well, hello there. Welcome to my channel where we learn how to be daddies, but not like Pedro Pascal, more like my dad. I mean, like an actual dad. So I recently made a video about how hard it is for LGBTQ plus people to be parents in Italy, mostly because of Giorgia Meloni's policies. Um, she is the prime minister of Italy, the right wing prime minister. No a los lobby LGBT. As it usually happens with those types of videos, they end up with the wrong audience. So I just end up with a lot of homophobic, transphobic comments. Basically, most of them just weaponize children, just saying that kids deserve a mother and a father with really no arguments to back themselves up. And also there's this one, I'm gay and I love Georgia Maloney. Bitch, you better be joking. Like, tell me you hate yourself without telling me you hate yourself. And then there's this one, fathers don't stay anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very sad, but kind of hilarious. And to this, I can say that there's more than 30 years of research confirming over and over again that same-sex couples can be just as good parents or even better at times than heterosexual parents. But I'll get to that soon. I watched this Jubilee video where they're discussing this topic and the conservatives were saying this. There's, there's this bond that a mother and child have that nobody can replace. I don't care if it's another dad. I don't care if it's Anne. I don't care if it's a grandmother. Wrong. That, there was a study on, done on showing that the fathers about, form the same studies. biological studies connection. Mean nothing, nothing, nothing. Studies mean nothing to me. I want to hear him out. I don't go off of statistics and data. That's a bunch of BS. I go off of what I see. How else do you make a point that is professional and mature if you're not citing data and you're not citing research? and you're calling it all bull that scrapped all of his credibility for me. Exactly, like I wouldn't have made this video if I wouldn't know that it's based on research, on real people, because I know that what I'm saying can affect real people. Not only is it, you know, as a Christian, it's not biblical to represent that to our children, but I don't think it's a sustainable model either, either if you're looking at it from that perspective. Like if we're gonna normalize same-sex households, we will have a very, difficult reproduction issue down the, down the line. Think if every single family suddenly became a single sex household. There's a reason why mammals have a male and a female and they reproduce. Here's a list from Wikipedia with mammals displaying homosexual behavior. Even two years ago, it was the first time that two humpback whales were documented having sex and it was two male whales. And on top of this, what is natural anymore? Everything is a social construct. What is it that you have on your face, lady? Is, is your foundation natural? Did you just pick some soil from the ground as you were walking through the forest barefoot to make the Jubilee video? No. <laughs> literally, can these people be real? If you literally step any closer, I will fight you. Talk real terms. And speaking of that, she's saying, imagine we lived in a world where every household was two same-sex parents. You're talking about a hypothetical situation that will never happen because we are a minority. We will never be all of the households. And by doing that, you're taking real people's rights away from them. That to me seems quite like a horrible sin. So if I were you, I would definitely go and confess, girl. I think you need that. Oh, she needs a <laughs> exorcism. My question is more so for people who, for queer people who adopt children. Okay. Is there a agenda connected to it to purposely, for the sake of society, community, to adopt children into your home to prove a point? Why is it that you have to twist everything? Like, oh, gays cannot be parents just because. There has to be something else. Why is it, why do you make it weird? There's people who want to be parents for the right reasons and there's people who want to be parents for the wrong reason. People being the key word here, in general, everyone. It's not gays have weird intentions and like, I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. And also, I don't have an agenda. I don't know if anyone has an agenda, but if it wasn't for these types of comments, no one would ever need any type of agenda. <laughs> There's also this girl who's saying that she was brought up by two fathers and she's completely fine. She doesn't feel like she missed out on anything. I have never, ever once 
wanted a mom, sought a mom, thought I was missing something because I didn't have a mom, and I'm sick and tired of people telling me that I am missing something because I'm just well, not. It's because you didn't have it. And sure enough, all the conservatives started telling her how she missed out on things. They don't even know her. And they're telling this woman, hey, uh, we actually know how you feel better than yourself and that you actually missed out on things and you have no idea. And we're very sorry about that. <laughs> You saying that I've never cared about having a mom, it never bothered me, I have two dads, they're great. You're saying that because you don't have your mother, which kills me. That kills me to think that I'm you sorry never knew it kills her. You. It doesn't kill me. When actually the answer to this is in the room with them, because this guy is saying how he was brought up by a mother and he missed out on a father and he really felt that. And so to have a father in my life would have kept me from doing a ton of stuff that ended up hurting me emotionally later on and causing a lot of trauma. And he suffered those consequences and that's his story. And then there's this other girl who's saying, Yes, I didn't have a mother, but I had two fathers and I was completely fine. Period. That's all. How is that so hard to believe? Also, he had one mother and she had two parents, so it makes sense that he is struggling a bit more from what research says. Also, I'm not saying that single parents are bad. I'm just saying that it might take more effort to get to the same result, which is super admirable. So kudos to you if you're a single parent. Just keep going. <laughs> You can just go to Google and easily find out that every single major child welfare organization confirms that same-sex parents are good parents. And these people doing the research are not architects or firefighters. Their sole objective is to ensure child welfare. This is the American Academy of Pediatrics, the National Association of Social Workers, the Child Welfare League of America, and also the American Psychological Association. So here's some beliefs that conservatives have that this study proves that they have no empirical foundation, meaning that there's no evidence that can confirm this, meaning that it's a lie, it doesn't exist, it's unicorn bullshit. <laughs> Homosexuality is a mental illness, no empirical foundation. Lesbians and gays can't properly take care of kids. Get used to that jealousy, Lily. Ordinary people just don't understand it. No empirical foundation. Children brought up by same-sex parents will show disturbances in gender identity or in gender role behavior. No empirical foundation. This is my favorite. Children brought up by same-sex parents will eventually become gay or lesbian. Bitch, that's the craziest idea I've ever heard, right? Most gays come from straight couples. Like what? Again, no empirical foundation. Children of lesbians or gay parents will suffer from a deficit in personal development, which is having psychiatric problems in intelligence problems. Again, no empirical foundation. So the conclusion is that not a single study has found children of lesbian or gay parents to be disadvantaged in any significant respect relative to children of heterosexual parents. But it's also quite interesting how research also confirms that children do better on average in two-parent households than in single-parent households. So why is it so common that in some countries it's legal to adopt as a single parent, but it's not legal to adopt as a same-sex couple? Oh, but then it's all for the children, right? It's just for the benefit of the children. Stop saying that it's about the children when it's not. It's just about hate. I will <laughs> come for you. We good? So yes, despite all these studies, people keep saying that you need a mother and a father. And to that, I have to say that not only moms can do dad things and dads can do moms things, but also what people don't usually have in mind is that same-sex couples can be supported by their extended family or by chosen family. But in those situations, we call upon the fantastic circle of men that we have in our friends and family. Stephen has lovely granddads, he has amazing uncles, cousins. We rope in the husbands of our friends and we rope in our own male friends. And they advise us on what we might do and they also spend time with Stephen. So yeah, if this video reaches the wrong audience again, please make sure to leave your hateful comment down there so that my videos are better. And also I use your comments as an inspiration for my next video, as I did with this one. And if you like the video, also leave a comment saying what your opinion is on this. Please like and subscribe as always, and I'll see you next time.